Hello, welcome back to the channel. So we've got another video today for you guys on the recent IPOs that have been rated on Stocks FC. I'm going to be reviewing and rating every IPO that have just gone by. These are players that were released on the week commencing the 3rd of July. If you do like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Stocks FC yet, you can sign up using the link below and get started today and start building your portfolio of players ready for the new season. Okay then guys, let's get straight into it then. So as I say, I'm going to be reviewing all the latest IPOs at the time of recording. So as you can see, we've got Kai of Arts, currently live, and also Son as well of Tottenham. We've also got Mason Mount now, of course, of Manchester United, who's due to go live on the 6th of July, and Jordan Pickford of Everton, he's due to go live on July the 5th. I'm going to be reviewing and rating all these players, giving them a rating, out of five in terms of their matrix scoring suitability and of course the overall rating in terms of the stocks of C asset taking into consideration a number of factors including the player's age the player's suitability to the scoring matrix the current club that they play for if they've got european utility international utility as well for a good team and a number of important factors to take into consideration when deciding to add a player to your portfolio so let's get straight on to it then guys i'm going to be going through the players in order of when there was ipo so it'll be son first then kai of arts followed by jordan pickford and family mason mount so here we go then here is son yun min of tottenham as you know he's a forward for tottenham and is a south korean international as well his ipo date was on the 3rd of july 2023 his ipo price was 79p per stock as you can see, he's a left winger, or he can play an attacking midfield role as well for Tottenham. In terms of his stats from last season then, so for Tottenham in the Premiership, he started 36 games, 10 goals and 6 assists as well, which is really impressive. He also had 2 goals in the FA Cup as well, and 2 goals in the Champions League in 8 appearances. And he also had some friendly internationals for South Korea, 3 appearances there and 2 goals. Moving on to the stats then. So let's have a look at the stats for Sun Hyun Min based on last season's statistics. If there was scored, this is what he would have scored last season. So in terms of scores between 40 and 49, he got 5 scores in that range. 50 to 59, he got 2. 60 to 69, he got 4. So that was quite good. 779, he had 2. And he also had 2 in the 80 to 89 range. And 1 score in the 90 to 100 plus range. As you can see, most of the scores were probably in the little in the lower end of the scale, but he did have some good scores in the 60 plus, which is what we're wanting really. And his top three scores were 91, 81, and 80. His average score last season would have been around 32. Overall, then, so decent matrix, matrix suitability, I would say. Pretty well suited to the matrix, scoring matrix, with the goals and assists that he gets. Negatives, he's got no European football, of course, with Tottenham. Is National team is probably not the best. They will have some good fixtures potentially in qualifiers, Asia qualifiers for the World Cups. But the majority of the time, he's not going to have that much good international utility. And of course, the other negative is his age. He is nearly 30, so that is another negative for Son Hyun Min, unfortunately. So overall then, so in terms of the Matrix rating and the Stocks of C rating, so Matrix rating, we're going to 3.5 star out of 5. This is a quality rating actually, and he is well suited to the scoring Matrix. He is able to get goals and assists. Stocks of C rating overall as an asset on Stocks of C, 4 out of 10 unfortunately on this one. That is mainly down to his age, not having international utility really, and the fact he's got no European utility next season either in terms of European football. So I'd be a little bit cautious on this one, and one that I'm probably not going to be looking to buy. Might be a good option though for the in-play dividends. It could be a good option for that. Next up we've got Kai Havertz of now Arsenal of course. So he's now signed for Arsenal. He's a midfielder for them in his German nationality. His IPO date was on the 4th of July 2023. His IPO price is £1.5p. As you know, he can play as a striker, but also can play as an attacking midfielder as well. In terms of stats from last season then, so for Chelsea, he started 35 games in the Premier League, 7 goals and 1 assist. He also played in the ELF Cup, but he only played one appearance though there. In the FA Cup, he also only made one appearance. In the Champions League, he had 10 appearances, 2 goals. He also had some appearances for Germany as well in the international stage. In the UEFA Nations League, he had 5 appearances, 2 goals 
And at the World Cup, he had two games and two goals there. So he did pretty well on the international stage. And seven goals is not bad, really, in a poor Chelsea team. In terms of his stats, then. So scores-wise, as you can see, most of his scores were in the 40-49 to 49 range. You got five scores within that range. You got three scores in the 50-59, two in the 60-69, and one and two scores in the 70-79 range. Fortunately, it didn't have any scores above 79, which was a little bit disappointing, really. We probably could have done with a few more scores in the 50-plus range. His high top score, his top three scores were 72, 71, and 69. His average rating would have been from last season would have been an average of 27 in terms of his average scores. So let's have a look at the overall picture then. So positives, he's got European football, of course, with Arsenal next season. He's got good international utility as well with a strong team in Germany. And of course, he's still young as well. So he's got all these favours going. So he's got all these things going in his favour. Negatives wise, I'd say he's not that really well suited to the scoring matrix. He's got an average rating, really. Um, so I wouldn't say he's really that suited to the scoring matrix, unfortunately. So overall then, the Matrix rating, I'll give him a 3 out of 5, which is still a good score. But really, there's quite a few players that are probably going to be scoring higher than this in terms of the scoring Matrix. They're probably the ones you're going to be, probably want to be targeting. Obviously, the Matrix suitability is one of the most important factors here. In terms of the Stocks FC overall rating as an asset then, I'll give him a 6 out of 10 still this on this one though. So, pretty bullish still on Kai of Arts. This is because he's got everything going for him, really. He's still young. He's playing for a club that's going to be in European football next season. He's playing for a strong international side as well. And his matrix score, although not the best, is still pretty good. And at Arsenal, this could potentially improve next season as well. So I think he's looking a pretty good pick still. If his score was a little bit higher in terms of his matrix rating currently, then it's one that I'd probably look to be picking up. Next up, we've got Jordan Pickford, obviously a goalkeeper for Everton, who are now relegated, but there has been transfer rumours to another club for Pickford. His IPO date is on the 5th of July, 2023, and his price of IPO is going to be 43p per stock. Now, as we know, he does play for a goalkeeper for Everton. It will be interesting to see if he does get a move away. I'm sure he will be looking to get football in the Premier League again. In terms of appearances last season then, so for Everton in the Premier League, he had 37 appearances. In the FA Cup, he had one appearance. He also had a number of appearances for England as well, including four in the European qualification, two in the Nations League, and five at the World Cup. Scores-wise then, so last season, his uh, majority of scores were in the 40-59 to 59 range, which isn't really too bad for a goalkeeper, really. Pretty decent scores then, consistent as well. Eight scores in the 40-49 and 50-59. He also had two scores in 60-69 and one score in the 70 to 79 range. Top three scores were 76, 72 and 61. With an average of 26. Which isn't too bad for a goalkeeper. Positives then. So good matrix suitability. I'd say he's got pretty good suitability for the matrix. He does make plenty of saves during a game. And he's capable of keeping clean sheets as well of course. When he's playing for England. Or a decent team hopefully next season. As I say he's also got the good international utility as well. With England negatives. Of course, no European football. His age as well, he's getting a little bit older now. And of course, that is probably not going to be covered currently because he is going to be playing in the Championship at the time of recording. I'm sure we'll get that move to a different club though, so we'll see what happens there. So overall then, Matrix rating, 3.5 star out of 5, I would say, so quality here. He's capable of getting clean sheets and is capable of making plenty of saves as well. So pretty decent option, I would say, in goal. But overall, in terms of an asset for Stocks FC, I've given him a 4 out of 10 and 1. That would be cautious on. Mainly due to his age. No European football next season. And of course we don't know where he's actually going to be moving yet. In terms of first team football next season. So 1 that's 4 out of 10 for me. i show a little bit of caution on this one. But if he can get a good move. I think he's got that matrix suitability. Should get a few clean sheets and plenty of saves as well. Next up we've got Mason Mount. So he's of course now signed for Manchester United. So ignore the details that's shown on the screen here. Of course he has now signed for Manchester United. All the medicals have been passed as well um, at the time of recording. His IPO date is on the 6th of July 2023. And his IPO price is going to be £1.2p. Of course he plays in a midfield role. He can play in the central midfield or as an attacking midfielder as well. So it will be interesting to see where Manchester United decide to deploy him. For me, I think he's probably going to be played as an attacking midfielder. 
and they may even potentially remove may potentially remove Bruno Fernandez on the right of a front three potentially. That is just my theory. I think Ericsson will stay in that central midfield role, um, and Mount could potentially take that attacking midfield role in the number 10 role or he could be a potential backup for Bruno Fernandes obviously as a Stocks FC asset that's not something we'd want to see though if you are looking to buy Mason Mount last season for Chelsea then he made 24 appearances in the Premier League three goals two assists not too bad really in a pretty poor Chelsea team last season he also made one appearance in the EFL Cup and the FA Cup he made nine appearances in the Champions League as well no goals there unfortunately but he did get two assists he also played a number of games for England as well. Five games in the Nations League and scored one goal there. And he also made four appearances at the World Cup as well. So scores-wise then, it's last season. These are the scores that he would have got. So he got 40-49 range scores. He got two of those. 50-59, he got one. He also got one score in the 60-69 range. Two scores in the 70-79 and one score in the 80-89. So he is able to reach these more peak scores, but as you can see, not that often. This was probably affected though by the poor run that Chelsea had, of course, and him not always being a first team player. His top three scores were 82, 79 and 73. Average rating last season would have been around 27. So positives then. European football next season, of course, for Manchester United. He's also got fantastic international utility as well with England. And his age is pretty good as well. He's still pretty young. Negatives are uh, his matrix suitability at the time of recording and based on last season's statistics. Not really going to be scoring that well. But with more consistent minutes and playing a better team, that could obviously improve. So overall, the matrix rating, I'll give him a 3 out of 5, which is a good rating. And overall... In terms of a Stocks FC asset, I'll give him a 6 out of 10. So another one that I'm still bullish on. He's got the European football, the international utility. Still fairly young as well. The only real thing that's let him down is probably the matrix suitability. That should, needs to be a little bit higher for me really to hit that buy button. But it can improve a, a better club if he is going to get that first team football and stay away from injuries as well, of course. So that was all the players rated and reviewed, all the IPOs that have been launched this week on Stocks FC. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you did want to get involved with Stocks FC, you can sign up using the link in the description. Watching as always, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and I'll see you again on the next video.